Next we'll program the Hunter Bluetooth hose end timer. Once you've downloaded the app, open it up. It will automatically scan for a nearby BTT. When it finds it and quits scanning, click on the listing. It will ask you if you want to set up a passcode. You only need to do this if you're concerned about someone stealing your BTT, so I'm going to just click Dismiss. Now it automatically defaults to the off screen. I'm going to click the Auto tab so I can program it. Now we'll set the water days. You just spin this dial to get to the alternating day you want. I'm just going to set it for every third day and click Save. Now we'll set the first start time. I'll set it to 9 a.m. and click Save. I don't really want a second start time, but I'll click it here to show you. I'll just click the Off button below. Next I'll click the Rain Delay. You can delay it up for up to 7 days and click Save, but I'm just going to exit this in the top right corner. Just to show you the Cycle and Soak window, I'll click the Cycle tab and click OK. You can figure that out, so I'm clicking the Auto tab again. And just for fun, I'll turn off the timer by clicking the Off tab. To activate the timer manually, click the Manual tab and set how many minutes you want it to run, then click Start. you'll hear the timer click on. Then if you want to stop it, just click the stop button. Down at the bottom right of the footer, you can click more to get to the settings. Click on the name of the controller you're operating and it will give you the option to nickname this controller in case you have more than one. I'm going to name this Veggie Garden. This is the place you can set a passcode to if you want. Then click Save. To get back to the watering schedule, click the Schedule button. Then click the BTTs button to get to the BTT list window that shows all your nearby BTTs. They won't show on the list unless they're close enough. And now it's ready to use.